Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. I hope you were doing great. So today I thought of sharing with you a little show and tell featuring some of my favorite organization essentials for my desk. I currently have two desks here at the office and generally it's been such a challenge for me to try to organize things because I move things around very quickly. So today I'm going to share with you my top eight essentials that you can definitely get ideas and inspiration from to keep your desk neat, organized, and figure out where to find the actual things you're looking for. Keep watching to know more about it. So the first one we have here is this. You might be wondering, like, it looks like a box. But actually, it is a file folder, or I'd rather think of it as like a stationary holder. This is the Nakabayashi A4 file folder. It basically mimics a folder, but when you open inside, it has several compartments. And it is great, especially if you want to organize some of your stationery in this way. I find this to be the most useful if you have a bookshelf or for me I usually put it under my desk because it looks like a book and the stuff that I put in here are usually used for for example if I'm gonna film a journaling video and I need to pull a couple of tools I just put it in my A4 file folder. I got this in Japan I think in Loft, it has a lot of sizes from B6, I think, to B5. I personally like my A4 size and it's in craft. I have yet to decorate it though, so let me know if you want to see a video of me decorating it. But you can have lots of these and it's definitely a great accompaniment to your desk. Now, the second one is pretty straightforward. Anything acrylic goes right in my book. This is an acrylic pen holder, which I got. Surprisingly not from Muji. This is from Ikea. I think I bought it in Spain or Berlin. I don't remember, but anything acrylic or anything that has this like pen stand figure is really great because first things first, it's clear so you can see everything thoroughly. So these are the pens that I use regularly here in the office. And in case I want to bring it to my other desk, I just, you know, put it on my desk and pick out whatever tools I need. So these two slots, I use them for pens primarily and then this upper slot contains a lot of like random stuff like washi tape scissors my usb um, pvc grid and here at the bottom when i put this on a table i can also add in some stuff maybe like post-its or papers or things that i might you know lose sheets by having this organizer it just keeps things easier for me also if you notice like here in the top part there are black pens and here at the bottom it's mostly like browns and blues so i tried to keep them that way for easier fighting next is of course clips you can never go wrong with clips i personally love these for anything that i have to do that requires paper organization filing these two are penco clips and i got the one in steel and this is in plastic i personally love these because first of all the colors are really great and second they file my stuff so easily so for example you have a journal here and you just want to open up to a certain spread or you want to take pictures with it basically just clip this and you've got it organized like that and this is great also for taking pictures by the way this is my washi samplers page where I sort of track my washi inventory to, just so it's easier for me to know what are the types of washi designs I own. They also work great basically for anything that needs resistance. So for example, if I need to clip my planner down, I would just use this and put it on my desk. Very easy, very simple, and it prevents also the page from like flipping back. Last but not the least, this is my personal favorite. When I saw this on High Tide's site, I was like, I need to get this because most of my journals don't have pen slots. So what you're going to do with this pen clip holder is you're going to put it in like so. Let's get a pen right here. So for example, I have this pen. I'm just going to put it in like that and you instantly have an accompanying pen to your journal and that is such a great life hack, especially for me because I go home, I work at home, I also work here in the office and sometimes I forget 
to bring my pen and I'm very picky with my pens. I usually use like a ballpoint pen or a gel pen that's mostly black because I just need to write all the things I have to do. So yeah, clips are a great addition to your any of your desk organizational needs and they're multi-purpose because you can use them to shoot photos of your journals and at the same time clip them together and file your loose sheets or paper or anything basically. The next up is a book stand. This is a rare find that I didn't realize I needed until I actually got it. So I got this. Um, this is probably two years old. I saw this randomly in a Greenhouse Chunge. And it says it's from... Let me put the info. It's from Pampanga. So it's a province here in the Philippines. It's from Chris Lai Furnicraft. And it's pretty straightforward you know you can put books here i used to read here or i would put my ipad because it works as a great support and it has two slots so depending on how deep you want to go but what i like using the most for this is for example if i need to put up my journal or to-do list on a like on an elevated like it's facing me kind of thing versus down on my desk i just put this so I think it works great. For example, if you want to put your planner and then you want to see your monthly overview or your calendar and you need some sort of support, this works really great with that. And of course, I also like using this as a life hack to shoot my videos using my iPad. I just literally prop my iPad here. I put it on my desk and I film the footage. And I think that's really great. You don't need a tripod. You just need this bookcase and it can do many things. I'm all for like multifunctional objects and I think... This is one of them. And I think it only costed me like 200 pesos, which is around like four or five dollars. So it's a pretty good steal. Next up on my essentials would be, who would have thought though, a wooden tray? So this is my wooden tray. Let me just take out the stuff. So this wooden tray is always, always on my desk in case I need to grab anything essential or I need to add like props for my shoots, I usually use this. So I currently have my Shrinka watercolor tin because it's very tiny, it fits well. I also have my um, Fueki glue here for, I don't know, it's just watching over me, you know, very cute. And also some inks and my date stamp. And actually this was given to me, but you can definitely find this at any store or home store. This was given to me by Key Coffee, so it's, Technically for putting coffee and your beans or snack or dessert, but I personally like using them as either a jewelry tray. I have a similar one at home for my jewelry and also for little knickknacks of stationery that I might need or I might forget. I usually also put my clips here just so they're easy to reach within my um, desk area. And since this desk where you can't see it, but this desk where I am sitting right across is mostly my filming and journaling and art making area. I try to have little things like these to help me organize everything together. The next one that I personally love, but I don't think I've used it to its advantage, is a mini trash can. So this is um, an old rose blush pink mini trash can. I got this from... Mumu saw, I guess, last year. It was an impulse buy, but also part of me is like, well, it's pink. And second is, if I have like loose paper, for example, I'm doing like a bullet journal video or I am journaling and I've been cutting up sticker paper and I just can't reach for my other, my other trash cans here are huge because they're meant for like shop stuff, for throwing away waste or whatever things. So having this on my desk has been really helpful because I can just put in any loose paper and just put it here so it's easier for me to get rid of them. Because when I see like little bits of paper on my desk, I get really annoyed and frustrated. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but as much as I like making a mess when it comes to journaling, I try to keep my desk area a bit more tidier than usual because that helps me sort of like get a clear mind and be able to resume journaling so this is a really really great find if you don't have a trash can you can definitely use like mini baskets or things that simulate a trash can and you can use it to store your non-essentials basically or when you have so much mess that you've made after journaling just put them here and make yourself think like you haven't made that much of a mess so you can make more messes 
The next one is one of my newest discoveries. This was also sent to me by High Tide. I personally chose this from their collection because I was like, first of all, it's super cute. And second of all, I needed a place to store a lot of my tech gear that I couldn't figure out ideally where to put it or what type of container to put it because I have a lot of things. So for example, this storage caddy, this is a pile up caddy actually, this is the small size. I got this in beige, which I really like because I don't really like bright colors. So I try to like match it with the current color scheme that I have for my office, which is like a bit of like woody, like nude colors with a bit of yellows and I got this because the size seemed fit for my space so I can always move this around. So first things first, this is what it looks like on the front and on the side you have this like deep um, area where you can store a lot of things. So I currently have my mic here which I am not using. Uh, my extra lens, this is my 20, 20, 22 millimeter lens. I also have my other wires here for my keyboards and stuff so it's situated right by my desk there so my desk there is for my computer because i don't like moving around my wireless keyboard and i just prop my laptop there and basically get all the things i need here in this um caddy what's great about this is you have a handle like this it's so cute guys like you're going to the grocery or like basically i just bring this around if i need to move my stuff from that desk to this desk if i need to go to the stock room which is right at the back to film some footage i just need to get this and bring it there and i find it super handy what's great about this also is if you want to store a lot of things i suggest getting a lot of these and you can pile it up i think it looks really satisfying i've seen some people do that currently i only have one though so i'm looking forward to get more so i could stack them up and make them look a bit more organized so yeah this is my tech supply area and i think it works really well as that last but not least this was probably the first thing that i've had in my office area even before i moved here to my office so wire baskets are my favorite thing ever i tend to collect a lot of these different wire baskets just because they're easier for me to Again, I try to use it multifunctionally, so I use them also to take photos. So this is a wire basket that has been with me for, I guess, more than four years. I got this at H&M Home. But you can find a lot of similar ones from Daiso and any home storage area that you might have in your area. This one has two handles, but I don't really use the handles because the holes are pretty big. And... I currently store my journals here. These are journals that I have yet to scan for a future zine. So these are New York journals and they fit my traveler's notebook so well. So what I try to do here is either if I need to take them out, I just put them on my desk. If not, I put it back in the shelf. So technically it's not, not a desk organization tool, but in case I have my planners here, and I need to stack them up. I use a lot of wire baskets, not only for journals, actually. I have something similar that is smaller in size. I think this was from one of the 100 yen stores in Japan, and I put my stamps here and other inks. So this is in my supply tray, which I have yet to do a tour of soon. So any size of these wire baskets are ultimately great for your organization because then it's going to be leveled up properly and you save a lot of space on your desk if you have a tiny desk it's really great to have these wire baskets so you can just put all your planners and journals and whatnot here rather than like piling them up i'm always scared like when i pile my journals up they might fall over so having them stacked up like this is really really neat and tidy so these are my top eight essentials for desk organization i hope you picked up a thing or two as usual, all links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and in future videos, I will walk you through some more of my organization hacks or tools basically because the last weekend I cleaned my room and fixed all the shelves. So I'm definitely going to show you an updated room tour as well as my desk tour here which I've never really shown but that is in the works. Thank you again for watching. I hope to see you at the next video. 
Thanks as always to my patrons for the support. If you want to be part of our community, make sure to be part of our Patreon by signing up today at patreon.com slash abc. You get access to these videos a few days in advance as well as my work in progress and my home improvement attempts and my office tours and my daily updates on Lens. Always be creating and I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye!